Hello and welcome all of my nerd knights to episode 14 of our Hero Quest painting series. We're going to be painting the sorcerer's table real quick and easy using some contrast paint, some dry brushing, and some highlights. First off, I want to thank our YouTube members for your dedicated support to the channel. Also, hit me up on Instagram and see what you want painted next. You guys got first dibs on what you want to see painted. If this is the first time at the channel, or if you're returning because you watched some of these videos and you think, ah, this guy's not half bad, it's not good either, but he's okay, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, hit that bell. Without further ado, let's go. Obviously, the first thing we're going to be doing is scraping off all those nasty mold lines. Now, I'm using some files to get these off. And then I'm going to use an airbrush. Now, I typically utilize an airbrush because it saves money long term. It might be a hit to your bank account at the beginning, but long term, it is a huge money saver. I'm going to hit this whole thing with black primer. And then we're going to use some white primer. And we're going to do this on the focal point of the candle. Now, I know I should have another candle on the other side, but I got shorted, I guess you could say, by Hasbro, and they only sent me a table with one candle. Now, we're putting the focal point on the candle and the surrounding areas as if we're creating a light spot for the light. Once that is all done, we're going to be using some Dawn Stone as a dry brush. We're going over the desk portion of this, the stone areas, not on the book or the candle or even the wood parts. We're just doing this on the stone areas. Next, we're going to take some Administratum Gray and go over those same exact areas, and we're just creating some color variation from the dark to a little bit lighter stone look as we're going to be using some contrast paints that are going to make it stand out just a little bit through the contrast paint. For our first color we're going to be using Space Wolf Gray which is a contrast paint from Citadel. Now I wasn't a huge fan of these at first but when you're doing terrain or furniture or something like that these are your best friend. They save so much time and effort with minimal um, highlights to do. So we're going to go over that top portion with this first. For our stone areas we're going to use some Basilicanum Gray. This includes the stone on the table and then on the legs there is stone. For the wood portion, we're going to be using some snake bite leather. For our book, we're going to be using some skeleton hoard. Now, you do not want to get it into that middle portion that has the page saver. Uh, you just want to use it on the pages and around the page area where the pages are folded on top of each other. I just made that a lot more complicated than it needed to be. For the book saver, page saver, we're going to be using some Magos Purple. Now this might take you a couple coats, so do one coat, let it dry, and do the second coat. For the hard portion of the book, the sorcerer's book that keeps his spells and everything else, we're going to use some Saigor Brown. For the pedestal that our book is sitting on, we're going to be using some Black Templar. For our candlestick, we're going to be using some of that wrath bone that we're going to paint over here in a little bit with another contrast color to give us that light. For 
for our red wick, we're going to be using Blood Angels Red. And for the candle holder, we're going to be using some Retributor Armor. And finally, just use some Agrax Earthshade on your gold portion. Um, while you're letting this dry, head over to nerd.nights, which is our Instagram, and subscribe over there. Once everything is completely dry, we're going to start with our highlight phase. And the first thing we're going to do is take a little bit of a dry brush of Dawnstone just to bring that, that stone look back to our desk. To highlight up our candlestick holder, we're going to use some Liberator Gold just on the raised areas. We don't want to overdo this. And to create our glowing fire effect, we're going to take some Ian in yellow and put it on a vast majority of this candle, specifically the wax part and a portion of the book just to create that nice glowing variant effect. And for a final highlight of this, we're going to take some Retributor Armor, put it on the little knobs on our desks, and we're going to paint the sides gold. If you want to do something different like a silver or a lead belcher, you can do that as well. I just decided to go with gold. And that's it. You did it. Not too difficult. This is a quick, easy video. I'm trying to pump these out more. My work schedule has changed, so I should be able to get more content out more frequently. So stay tuned for more. But I want to say thank you for everybody who watches this, who supports this channel, all my YouTube members. You guys are awesome. If you are not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much. Leave me a comment below on what you want to see next. Um, hit me up on Instagram. I love seeing your guys' painted miniatures. I want to see more, so send me your pictures. Until next time, paint on.